Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel and give this video a like if you do like it. With me today is my fellow, I don't know, rooster, hawk, or I don't know, we'll say bird. <laughs> this is my good friend Matt. I'm Hunter. a chicken say hawk. That. I'm a chicken hawk. <laughs> I'm a chicken hawk. <laughs> <laughs> You're a chicken hawk. Uh, you see, I can't do those accents. Are you, are you gonna come along quietly or do I have to muss you up? So this is a review for You Were Never Duckier, released on the 7th of August 1948, with a blue ribbon reissue on the 26th of February 1955. It's the 530th in the series, and it's directed by Chuck Jones. Now, I can't show you the full cartoon here due to copyright on YouTube, but you can see this on the Looney Tunes Gone Collection Volume 5 DVD set. It's also on HBO Max in high definition. And once again, because I can't show you the full thing, just a brief synopsis in case you haven't seen it. So at a poultry show, Daffy is not happy that the prize for best duck is $5, but for the best rooster, it's $5,000. So what does Daffy do? Of course, he's going to disguise himself as a rooster. And he's, of course, stolen by Henry Hawk later on as well. And we get a little side thing with him and his dad. a few bits of trivia before we get into the meat or in this case the chicken of the review um so this one is the second henry hawk short to be directed by chuck jones although by this point bob mckimson had used henry hawk a few times and as you mentioned to me before we started recording here henry hawk was very big in the comic book I was yeah actually... you know henry hawk was originally kind of you know going to be marketed as a star after chuck jones came up with him uh, in a cartoon called The Squawking Hawk, and he got a comic book feature, and he was apparently very popular in the Dell uh, Western Publishing uh, Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies comics. So they said, hey, we've got a hit character, and even though Foghorn Leghorn really eclipsed him, at the minute Foghorn Leghorn showed up, they still were looking for ways to use Henry maybe without Foghorn, and uh, I guess they gave him back to his original creator, Chuck Jones, and they said, we'll try it with maybe another character. So they put him with Daffy. And yeah, exactly. And it's the only time they ever did, except uh, actually trivia in uh, the Scarlet Pumpernickel a few years later, they had Henry have kind of a, a cameo. But uh, this is the only one where really he goes after somebody other than, than Foghorn Leghorn, really. Yeah, exactly. And the titles of this film, of, of this short rather, it refers to the movie title uh, You Were Never Lovelier, which was a film from 1942, starring Fred Astaire and Rita Hayworth. So there you go. But a few things with this one that we'll definitely need to discuss. Eric Goldberg, in his audio commentary on this, and I encourage you to listen if you guys have not heard it, um, that this is the, the beginning of the change for Daffy from the incredibly screwball character that uh, Bob Clampett did to, of course, the greedy, selfish, egotistical character of the 50s, 60s, and so on. That seems to be the default, Happy Duck. I mean, do, do you agree with that? I mean, I, I definitely do, and there are definitely a few examples to in this yeah, card. Yeah, know that. this period of Daffy, particularly by, by Chuck Jones, and I think, you know, when Art Davis did him too, there's kind of a, a happy medium between what he would become, which was greedy and, you know, self-centered, and then still a little bit screwy and still a little bit you know i'd say good-natured prankster you get him in in a pest in the house is one from this period and then i think what a lot of people agree is one of the best daffy duck cartoons of all time which is coming up and that was uh daffy dilly where he goes and he tries to uh cheer up the dying millionaire uh, you know and they use yeah. that as the basis for for the daffy it's ducks quackbusters movie it's a classic and yeah, so I, this period, particularly Chuck Jones directed with Daffy Duck, I think is is the best version of Daffy, in my opinion, and I think a lot of people. It's pretty solid because, you know, and you can tell the differences between the two types of Daffy in this very short. I mean, you got one scene in the very beginning where you got, uh, you know, a pissed off Daffy Duck. $5 for the best duck. Mean I came all the way from Dubuque for a measly five bucks. $5,000 for the best rooster? Why, they can't do this to me! It's unconstitutional! It's... it's... Brother, 
could I use 5,000 macaronis? Later yeah. on? <laughs> I didn't know you cared. <laughs> so you get this uh -huh. interesting blend of the two um, in, the, in the one yeah. short. And I agree, I, I like this Daffy a, a lot. I mean, Screwball Daffy, yeah, I love Clappet Daffy and all that, don't get me wrong, but this is a nice balance, I think. It's, I think yeah, it works, it's, it's, uh, a, it's a happy well. medium. Who can argue with the humor of, you know, sticking a rubber glove on your head and a toilet plunger on your butt and, you know, calling yourself a chicken? I mean, that's just... That's, you know, funny. That, that's That's just another Saturday night for me, I guess, you know? <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, I don't know what you do Saturday night, but, you know. <laughs> don't don't knock it until you tried it, man. Well, well, that's it. That's it. But in, in this one, what I thought was interesting is that mallet in, in the head gag. And, you know, I'm looking at it going, hang on, I've seen this before. And sure enough, that gag was actually done in the first Henry Hawk short in the Swalking Hawk, as you mentioned where you know you have two characters chasing after each other you've got a third character they're waiting to hit the right character they, of course they hit the wrong character and hilarity ensues i mean which short do you think did it better i mean i think chuck's oh, definitely improved in this one yeah yeah i mean well because chuck's timing is so much better in this one it's definitely done better but you know he wasn't the only director to do that gag that's an old i'm assuming an old silent film gag like something that you would see in a chaplin or keaton or lloyd film you know something even the three stooges might have done and in fact Fris freeling did it in uh, hair trimmed with uh with bugs bunny and yosemite sam and uh and granny you know and then there was even an mgm tom and jerry cartoon where you know the tom and jerry are running and running and running in a circle you know it's it's a gag that's been done in film for a long time and so just a, just, just a really fun take on a classic gag yeah exactly and you know you got these got all these masters doing these cartoons you know you got a surefire way of gag that's used quite a bit but hey if it works and and as we mentioned in the previous review for buccaneer bunny these were not meant to be binge watched so people at the time wouldn't remember oh wait a minute i've seen this gag before no and if they did yeah. well it would have been extremely rare. Extremely rare. What What are your general thoughts on this short as we slowly wind down this review? I just think it's a really interesting one because it's two characters that you don't see uh, paired before or, or after. Daffy Duck and Henry Hawk. We would see Daffy Duck and Foghorn Leghorn later on in the 50s, but this is the only time that Daffy and, and Henry were really together other than a, a cameo in the Scarlet Pumpernickel, actually. Henry Hawk makes a cameo, but it's just an interesting combination of characters and an interesting time for Daffy Duck in, in his career or development, I guess you'd say and and just a really unique cartoon and i really think it's it's worth checking out sure what would you what would you rate this one out of ten i'd give this a solid seven seven and a half for sure yeah that's actually what i would be rating it up that funnily enough but i would give about a seven see my my feeling is it's a nice solid cartoon it's funny it's got great gags my only thing is i love the initial idea with daffy like being annoyed and disguises himself as a rooster just so he can get more money i like that plot when it gets to the other part of it, while the gags are funny, it, it felt like it was a different cartoon. I don't know. And then it goes uh, back to the other yeah. plot, and it felt a little off, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's like they maybe tried doing a little too much with it. In other words, the, the stuff at, at Henry Hawk's house, you know, where they drag him there, and they, they go back to the poultry show at the end. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, maybe a little bit too much with the plot there, but it's still a pretty good one. Exactly, and I do love the ending. Like, I, I love the twist at the oh, yeah. end. You know, like the, <laughs> the, the yeah, such a solid, solid yeah. ending where you know you got you think oh, Daffy thinks he's gonna win. He's like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll at least I'll get the five bucks. But no, yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't. We get that nice little twist at the end. So I think yeah, that, that'll do it for this one. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching these reviews. Feedback's always welcome. And until next time. Take care. Who am I to sneer at a fast fiver? <laughs> <laughs>